Should Jalen Hurd make this team? Yeah, I think he should. I, I thought I thought more or less he looked pretty good uh, uh, when I was able to watch uh, the preseason. It'll be nice. Hopefully, I get sent the All-22 again, and I can watch him specifically. But I, I, I thought he looked, like Kyle Shanahan said, like one of their six best receivers. I've not been impressed with Travis Benjamin this entire offseason. The only reason I think he should make this – I think he will make this team is because he's the only diverse skill set in this uh, offense. I think a lot of – they have a lot of same-same guys. Like Hurd, Sanu, Jennings are all kind of one tier with Hurd being the one-plus skill set because he adds an element of after-the-catch ability. To me, Sherfield, Ayuk, Debo are all kind of similar type of receivers. Obviously, I they're all a little bit different, but they're all kind of the same mold. To me, Benjamin is the one true just pure speed guy, guy that gets down the field. And so that's why I thought he would make this team, but I haven't seen a lot from him. Richie James, I mean, Richie James, he's been inconsistent this preseason, and uh, it seems that him and Lance just – don't have chemistry for whatever reason. So, like, there's that, and now he's hurt. And then I, I know a lot of people are big Juwan Jennings fans. I personally am not the biggest Juwan Jennings fan. He has a great catch radius. He has great hands. Uh, he's decent after the catch. But I, I think there's just a lack of explosion and a lack of explosiveness with Juwan Jennings. And I would love to see him go against corners that are the elitist of the elite level athletes, which was what the number three or number four receiver on this team will be going up against. You have to play a Jalen Ramsey in this division. You have to play in the NFC. You have to play Jair Alexander. You have to play Murphy Bunting and Carlton Davis. And all of those guys run 4-3. And I feel like those guys wouldn't have that much trouble covering him because he is not explosive at all. And if you're not explosive, you're hoping you're a wily veteran. So I, I personally am not the biggest fan of Juwan Jennings and I, I, I personally think Jalen Hurd even after the injuries looked like the more explosive athlete and looked like he had a little more juice in him in terms of his movement skills though I thought Jalen Hurd also looked slower. Well Juwan Jennings was a 4-7 so yeah but I, I just didn't think that Jalen Hurd looked that explosive I thought his jet swing yeah, I agree with slow. that I right yeah. I was just getting there with Hurd yeah. I, I he did not look like the same athlete I saw in Baylor or even that first preseason game. He definitely That's looked bothered. slower. Yeah. Even with that, though, I thought he looked like the more fluid athlete. between. No, I agree. And, and I think what you're saying is he's definitely the, the number six receiver on this team. And I could get behind that. I guess all I would say is, do you have to keep six wide receivers? I mean, I don't think that much of Hurd. He hasn't shown that much. It's a run first team that goes two wide receivers a lot of the time. I mean, Harbaugh used to keep five wide receivers for that reason. It seems like you could keep another running back. They got, you know, you could keep another defensive lineman. Do you have to keep six wide receivers? That, that, I mean, that's a great question, but he was a yeah. third round pick. So I think yeah. he kind of yeah. gets that too. But I mean, if you're asking which receivers I've seen that just deserve to make this team in general, to me, only three have shown like they're 100% going to be contributors. Thank to you. Team. Even Sanu, okay. like he got a lot I of hype. Uh, yeah. But like, yo, where have you been? I'm just saying, like the, the the top three guys, Sherfield's one of them. Have looked good, but the other ones, yeah. I'm just, uh, I, I'm look, sure. look, hold on. Let me ask this before we before we move on. If they if they were to cut Hurd, would someone put him on their team? Has he, like, like do, would someone put would someone pick him up? I don't think so because the injury see, risk. But see, the way I see it is, I don't think anybody's going to pick up Jennings. I don't think anybody's picking up Benjamin. I don't think anybody's picking so up. So keep Hurd. five wide receivers. Think people pick up Sanu. So keep up. So, okay, so keep four wide receivers. No, keep five wide receivers. If you think no one's going to pick up Hurd, cut him. Put him on the practice squad. And if he doesn't want to be on the practice squad, maybe he doesn't want to be a football player. So I'm just saying, yeah. uh, that, that should be the biggest consideration with this 53. If we cut him, will we lose him? No? Then cut him. Put him on the I practice think the squad. biggest question is how confident are you that his health continues to get better and better as the season goes and he That's continues true. to get That's his true. legs under him? That's true. Because, That's again, true. even even – Today, with all those injuries, when he's clearly not looked as explosive, he looks a much better mover than both Sanu and Juwan Jennings. Mm. Yeah. I would just say go with five wide receivers, but I'm old school like that. Double B Studio says for the Niners Super Bowl this year, what is y'all's go-to food for Super Bowl? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't usually eat. I'm watching the game. Yeah. All I know is when I went to the Super Bowl in Miami, they had Trace Leche's cake in the uh, press box and it was delicious and I associate that with Super Bowl. So the Miami Super Bowl, right, 2019, we got a nice big deep dish pizza. The first half went well. 
I pick up the pizza in the second half. I eat a slice during the third quarter, but I'm barely eating, you know, because I'm so focused. The fourth quarter, I mean, I usually down three slices of deep dish pizza. Plate. I eat a lot, but I couldn't even finish half of a second. I was so sick to my stomach with what happened in that fourth quarter. It was it was an awful tight. day. It Jeez. was an awful day. Domain Threat says the biggest factor has always been the players on the team. If it was up to Kyle, he'd have made the switch already. Smart to wait, engage the players. I think there's probably something to that. You don't want to make a move that's overwhelmingly unpopular. You kind of want Trey to take the job and make it easy on everyone, right? I would think. I'm not sure. That's interesting, though. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm just guessing. Human human uh, dynamics. Jorge says, we need to be honest here. The only two quarterback system that works is Grant and Vish. You're too kind. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. The I coach, think Grant's oh, the no. starter here, though. Uh, I'm, coach. I'm the Taysom Hill. Okay, let's see what he's been heard. Been, Coach's been calling me a liar all day. Let's see what he's got. He gave me 20 bucks, so that's very nice. I appreciate it. You can call me a liar all you want if you give me $20. I'm good. Coach says, Hurd has done a hell of a job getting his body back. He's done everything he's been asked to do, plus more. One team gives guys opportunities who work hard. Our team, reading, is hard. Gives te- guys opportunities who work hard. McKinnon, Ford, Trent Taylor, Blair. Hurd deserves a healthy shot. Good point. I'm with you, Coach. Good point. Fair. I mean, I guess if you, let's put it this way. You spend a third round pick on him. You waited around for two years. He finally looks healthy. It'd be kind of a strange time to give up, right? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like giving up on CJ Beathard after four years and then watching him ball out with Jacksonville. Like, that hurts. I'm just saying. Great. I always I'm said that CJ was going to be good in year five. I was like, wait until year five. I'm surprised people aren't in your mentions. I mean, the entire dynamic of CJ not starting over Mullins but then CJ being the reason they, they're comfortable with him as the backup, so they trade Minshew to the Eagles, resulting in the cut of Mullins. Man, irony is interesting. Every time Nick Mullins throws a pick or gets cut, my mansions are just, it's just, oh, well, I'm not looking at my phone for the next 24 hours. It's like, okay, poor guys, Larry. you got me. And poor Larry, like, I'm not going to let you guys talk that way about Larry's grandson. I love Larry. <laughs> Great guy. Larry, I miss you, man. Good luck to Nick. I no one's talking. He got, a, he got that elbow, man. That was rough. Kyle, I mean, Double B Studio says, Kyle's made a Jaeger robot from Pacific Rim. Two good QBs make one great. What is going on? LOL, interesting. That was a good visual. We've had some, we had, we had the Build-A-Bear. We had this one. That was good. It's a lot of fun. See, Kyle, you've created a monster. Jeremy says, your take on Joe Staley saying Jimmy took us to the ship. It's another, it's what I'm saying about this locker room. That is a big um, feeling. And I think, Kittle, Kittle feels that way. McGlinchey feels that way. Usak feels, I'm guessing, that Staley is sharing that feeling from the locker room. What do you think? You running out of time? I'm not Because this is going to keep I'm going forever, sure. man, I swear. Darnay says Carolina no, would pick I'm up Hurd. No, I'm good with time. I don't got okay. class today, so yeah. Easy, uh, Carolina would pick up Hurd, Matt Rule. Played mm, for maybe. Matt Rule. Easy Tino says Kyle said no to Tom Brady, right? That's all you need to know about our coach. Kyle's a loser and not a leader. Ooh. See, I can't say that that directly because I cover the team and I, I don't want to alienate all the fans, but I respect how you said that in so few words. You, and thank you for the money. No, I mean, I that, that, was a, that, that was a hard-hitting comment. I'm not going to disagree at all. I'm not going to say – you just wrote off Kyle Hard there. I, I, I'm in the business of giving him another chance. And uh, But, yeah, dude, <laughs> that was strong. I, I, gotta resp- I just got to take my cap. Like You came hard with that one. I like that. I like a strong take. Hasty or Gullman will make our another 53 of cut. Uh, it's Gullman all the way. Gullman is cut. the best pass protecting back on this team. See, to me, ball. I would almost want to keep five running backs because they're all they're all good. I mean, if you like if you cut Gullman or Hasty, one of those two, you're cutting an NFL player to keep. I'm guaranteeing you're keeping someone that's just part of the Cabo crew. Like, can we cut a Cabo crew member? Who's the same? Cabo crew? Like Tom Compton. Oh, I think he's getting, he's a guaranteed to get cut, right? Better. Or, okay, like Colton Kivitz. Colton Kivitz has never done anything good one, at ever at any point on this team. Charlie Warner, never done anything on this team. You know, can we talk about something with Colton McKivitz real quick? Yeah. They said that one of their plans was after drafting him for him to be competing for the left tackle job if they didn't trade for Trent Williams. Dude, he can't play. Any, he, he can't play. They right said that hard. Allowed. Yeah, I don't know, man. See, I, see, to me, if they cut Colton McKivitz, I'm not sure he would get picked up. If they cut Charlie Warren, I mean, Caden Smith did, so it's possible, but I don't know, man. 
And I feel like Hasty would get picked up, although sometimes he's running backs who play well in preseason aren't exactly take, taken seriously. Yeah, but even if Hasty's picked up to me, everybody's acting like Hasty is Adrian Peterson and you can't find another Hasty in the NFL. That's true. It's just, it's, I mean, they actually had running back depth issues last year and it wouldn't be bad for a run first team to have five. Five starting running backs, and it seems like I've never heard of a team keeping five tailbacks, and, but and at least Mitchell fair, can return Ricky, kicks. Ricky Mostert has a history of getting banged up. Uh, True. Trey Sermon got banged up a little bit at Oklahoma. and I kind of like the idea of at least not having to worry about it because Jarek McKinning starting how many games last year was a problem. That was a problem. Yeah, no, it was yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Domain is back, says, wouldn't be surprised if Sherfield is our best wide receiver going forward. He looks explosive out of his cuts and has really good body control and hands. He looks like a like a grown man. He just looks like he's in the best shape of his life. And while he's probably not as gifted as the other guys, um, or Debo and Ayuk, they could probably learn something from his he looks professionalism. Good, yeah. 